800 on the middle way. 400, verses, root, text. Chapter 13. 301, when seeing its form the whole pot. Is not in fact seen. Who that knows? Reality would claim that the pot. Is directly perceptible also? 302, by means of this very analysis. Those with superior intelligence. Should refute individually. All that is fragrant, sweet and soft. 303, if because the form is seen. Everything is seen. Why because of what is not seen? Would the form not be unseen? 304, there is no direct perception. Of just the form alone. Because it has a close and distant. As well as a central part. 305, this also applies when one examines. Whether particles have parts or not. Thus to prove a thesis by that. Which must be proved is not feasible. 306. Everything too is a component. As well as being a composite. Thus even a spoken syllable. Does not have existence here. 307. If shape is distinct from color. How is shape apprehended? If not distinct, why would the body? Not also apprehend color. 308. Only the form is visible. But the form's causes are not seen. If indeed it is thus, why are both? Not also perceived by just the eyes. 309. Earth is seen as firm and stable. And is apprehended by the body. Only that which is tangible. Is referred to as earth. 310. Since it was produced as something visible. It is of no use at all to the pot. As with the production of visibility. It lacks even the entity of existence. 311, the eye, like the ear, is an outcome of the elements. The eye sees while the others do not. Certainly therefore the subduer said. The fruition of actions is inconceivable. 312, because the conditions are incomplete. There is no awareness before looking. While afterwards awareness is of no use. The instrument is of no use in the third case. 313, if the eye travels, that which is distant would take long to see. Why are extremely close? And very distant forms not clear. 314, if the eye travels when the form is seen. Its movement is of no benefit. Alternatively, it is false to say. What it intends to view is ascertained. 315, if the eye perceives without traveling. It would see all these phenomena. For that which does not travel there is. Neither distance nor obscuration. 316, if the nature of all things. First appears in themselves. Why would the eye not. Be perceived by the eye itself. 317, the eye does not have consciousness. And consciousness lacks that which looks. If form has neither of these. How can they see form? 318. If sound makes a noise as it travels. Why should it not be a speaker? Yet if it travels noiselessly, how could. Awareness arise in relation to it? 319. If sound is apprehended through contact. What apprehends the beginning of sound? If sound does not come alone. How can it be apprehended in isolation? 320. While sound is not heard, it is not sound. It is impossible. For that which is not sound. Finally, to turn into sound. 321. Without the sense organs, what will mind? Do after it has gone? If it were so, why would that which lives? Not always be without mind? 322. An object already seen is perceived by mind like a mirage. That which posits all phenomena is called the aggregate of recognition. 323, independence upon the eye and form. Mind arises like an illusion. It is not reasonable to call illusory that which has existence. 324, when there is nothing on earth that does not amaze the wise. Why think cognition by the senses? 
and such like are amazing. 325, the firebrand's ring and magical creations. Dreams, illusions, and the moon in water. Mists, echoes, mirages, clouds. And worldly existence are alike. 